Hello everyone, David Irwin has finally persuaded me to have a go at making a little video uh, so I thought I'd show you with the, the latest thing that's finished which is the throttle control. So here we've got the throttle quadrant which uh, has the slow running cutout on the left um, which uh, for ground running can actually be used to uh, control the mixture um, at low load to lean it off slightly uh, which can be helpful. So the operation of the uh, controls, um, first of all the slow running cutout which uh, translates the movement over to the other side which is a, a rotary valve basically within the carburetor that closes the fuel off uh, in that position to shut the engine down and then the next lever is the throttle lever itself which as you can see has a number of uh, functions uh, this engine is quite unusual in being old enough to still to have uh, uh, adjustable timing on the magnetos so you can see that that movement is sent all the way down uh, on both magnetos to advance and retard the ignition. Uh, the final control is uh, on the other side of the control panel um, and this one again is unusual as uh, this whole function was deleted on uh, later Merlins uh, and was used to alter the um, mixture for, for cruising um, which uh, they found wasn't required in the end and uh, so later engines don't have it. Um, this won't serve any purpose at all for ground running uh, but as you know, fortunate enough that all this mechanism was still on it I thought it would be a nice thing to uh, include um, so that at least it can be seen working even though it won't, won't be used. I hope that was of some interest and uh, I'll move on to the next job now which is to carry on with the mounting of the um, header tank which, uh, as it's uh, formerly a Hurricane engine, is mounted uh, behind the engine rather than having a saddle tank at the front, which is more familiar. <laughs> 